of Brittany and Three Sons. Um, we are planning on doing a group of videos tonight, so we're not gross and just wear our clothes over and over. So if you see a bunch of videos with the same outfits in it, um, that would be why. But before Brett gets over here to do some of the videos with me, I figured I'd go ahead and do a few on my own. I'm going to do the book buying tag. I'm looking over here because I have the laptop pulled up because I didn't feel like printing out or recopying all the stuff right now. So I'm going to look off of the list over here. Um, it's the book buying tag and I'm really into reading right now. I go through phases where I will read, you know, <laughs> two books in one day. No, I haven't done that yet, but I have read one book in one day. Um, and then I will go through a phase where it takes me two months to read a book. It just really depends, and right now I'm in a book reading phase, so probably the best time to do this video. Um, I am, I saw Obs and Lala do it, so I figured that I'd go ahead and do it. Um, I tag anybody and everybody that likes to read books, and you know, even if you don't like reading books, do the video and just tell us that, oh, I only buy a book once a year or something, you know, stuff like that. So, anybody and everybody can do the tag, and let's get started. Okay, where do you buy your books from? Most of the time, if I buy them, I buy them from either Walmart or Target. Um, Walmart's pretty much all we have here. Um, we do have, I would buy them from thrift stores if we had good thrift stores here, but all we have is Goodwill, and it doesn't, you know, they don't have very much. And I... I'm not going to get into it, but I don't really like buying from Goodwill. So, do you ever pre-order books? And if so, do you order them in the store or online? Um, I have never pre-ordered a book. But, I just finished the selection series. And I believe the third book, I know they're releasing like a in-between book that's just like a different point of view of the other books. But the actual third book comes out in May, and I really want to pre-order it. But it all depends. I'm not really sure yet, but I really want to. Um, and if I do pre-order it, it'd be in-store. It would be an actual hard copy. I don't like reading on. I had a Kindle. I didn't like reading on it. I have a Nexus tablet, and I would just, I'd really rather just have, you know, the hard copy in my hand than reading from a screen. It gives me headaches. Excuse me, sorry. Um, on average, how many books do you buy in a month? Well, it really just depends if I'm in a book reading phase um, and the money standpoint at the time. Uh, this past month, I have bought three books from I've actually bought. Um, but other, I mean, usually before that, I don't know. I'm one of those people, if it's a series, I want to go ahead and buy the whole series if they have it. But, uh, I've been, I think it's another question. Yeah, it's actually the next question. So, do you ever use your local library? I have actually started going back up to the library and getting books because our Walmart locally isn't carrying the ones that I'm wanting to read. So, they're pretty much the library's the only ones that have them. So, I have been using the library, and I think that's awesome. But, I am one of those people, if it's a good series... I will reread it over and over and over, so it, it kind of also sucks because, you know, library, you have to turn it back in. Um, the Hunger Games, I've already read those five times, and I do own those, and that's good because I read them all the time. And I'm one of those, if they're making a movie out of it, like Divergent, I will want to read the books again right before the movie comes out, like right before the first movie comes out, which I just finished them, so I won't have to read it again. But right before the second movie comes out, I will go back and probably read the second book right before I go watch it. So, I like to reread them. I mean, I, I like going up to the library, but like I said, I'd rather buy it if I have, you know, if the store has it here. Um, uh, how many books can you or do you borrow at one time? I'm not sure how many you can borrow. I know you can borrow quite a bit. And you have them out for three three weeks at the library, that is. Um, usually at one point, I will just buy, or I will just uh, go up there and get the whole series. So I don't have to worry about in the middle of the night if I finish one of the books. And I'm like, oh my god, I need to read the second one. 
I had an episode with that a few days ago with the selection series. I needed the second book and I went to, we were actually out and about and I went to like four different Walmarts and nobody had it. And I was so upset. And I finally went up to the library and they had it. So, I mean, I'll go ahead and borrow the whole series so that I can read all of them. Um, how do you feel about charity shops or secondhand books? I think it's awesome. If you can actually find them, I think it's awesome. I say go for it. I just can't ever find them. Um, uh, do you, how do you, how do you keep <laughs> your read and TR, TBR pile together on the same shelf or, oh, read and to be read pile? I don't really have, we have a bunch of bookshelves, but they're all filled with movies. So my books are just kind of stacked up on my dresser currently or stacked up in the top of the closet depending on how soon I have read them or will be reading them. They're all kind of mixed in together or they're passed out to family members. I read books and then I let my mom or my sister or somebody borrow them. So because usually I'm so excited. I'm like, this was such a good book. You have to read this. So they're all kind of just thrown in together. Once we get a bigger place, I'll definitely have a bookshelf. Um... Do you plan to read all the books you currently have? Yes. I, like I said, if I went to thrift stores and stuff and got them and, you know, cheap books, heck yeah, I'd go ahead and get them just so I have, a, you know, an in-between book. But right now, all the books in the house I have either read or I plan to read. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, what do you do with the books that you own that you feel you've, will never read or feel you will did not enjoy um I I donate I mean I like to donate and stuff or like I said I'll give them out to family and stuff um because what I like might not be what somebody else likes and what somebody else likes might not be what I like so I mean you know I guess I donate hand them out to people and stuff or if I like get seriously like a chapter into it and I'm like this sucks and it was something I bought recently I <laughs> I don't know if that's bad or not. I will return it and buy a different book. I mean, it's kind of used, but not really used. I don't know. Is that bad? I don't know. <laughs> but most of the time, I like what I read, so I usually just keep them. Um, have you ever donated books? Well, I just said I have, so yes. We really, really, really need to go through the Boys' books and donate a bunch of those. Um, have you ever been on a book buying ban. Um, Brett would say yes. I'm actually, it's not really a book buying ban because of money or anything, but I'm banned from buying the, uh, Game of Thrones series because he, uh, doesn't want me to know what happens before it happens on the show because we do watch the Game of Thrones, of course. And so I have been banned from buying those. Um, I don't, I don't really think I'm ever been on a book buying ban though. I put myself on a book buying ban just because I get out of reading, you know, every every once in a while and I just don't feel like it. So, I don't know. I stop buying books until I get into it again. Um, do, uh, do you feel that you buy too many books? I don't think so. I don't think that I buy too many books. Um, Sometimes I, I think I read too much. The other day I read a whole book in eight hours and yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's good to read. So, and I really enjoy reading. I get into books like I do my television shows and stuff. It kind of, you know, it gets me out of my head. It puts me, I put myself in the book. I am that character. I get into it. I mean, I'm if something happens to that character, I mean, Brett will find me all the time just bawling my eyes out or something. Because, you know, I just, I get really connected and stuff. And that's why I find, you know, that's how I know that it's a good book. If I get connected and involved and stuff and into it. So, but yeah, that is the end of the tag. So, I really like book tags. And I'm thinking about maybe doing a book, the book video about the books I've read and stuff. And just talking about them a little bit. But that'd be so hard because I hate, you know, doing spoilers or anything. And I'm not really good at describing things. I don't think. I don't know. I might work on it. I might try to do that. So, I guess, like I said, I tag anybody and everybody. 
feel free to do the book tag. And if you know any more tags about books and stuff, or TV shows or movies, I, I'm really into that kind of stuff, and we both are. So I guess just comment below. Alright, like and subscribe. Thanks. See you around.